Ladies and gentlemen, the Dun Steve Audio Fiction Magazine presents The Thirteen Nights of Halloween with Rish Outfield and Big Anklevich. Hey everybody, I'm Big Anklevich. And I'm Rish Outfield. And welcome to another fabulous, wonderful, and exciting day of the Thirteen Nights of Halloween. I think it's none of those things. Oh, okay. I it, suppose it, I can't deny it. It is that. an installment. Another well, installment. That's right. In case you're just joining us, well, why would you start on this episode and not the first one? That is weird. Or maybe they were interested in the topic. Ooh, yes. What is the topic? The topic week? today this week is something that uh, really frightens at least one of our listeners. They suggested we talk about it, and that is moths. Ooh, moths. That's right. My friend Jeff is terrified of moths. Really? I mean, like freaked out about moths in a in 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 a way that I can't even understand. I mean, he, the way that the guy on the onion video goes about spiders, he does about <laughs> moths. And with spiders, I can understand, but wow, moths. Yeah. Uh, so how about maybe you? it's the Mothman prophecies that scares him so much? I was going to say, I, uh, I guess you already jumped the gun and asked me. Sorry, uh, well, I can. I, can, I was going to say, are you frightened of moths like your friend oh, Jeff? Oh, me? No, I, I think moths are cool. Yeah? Uh, yeah, how about I, th- you? I think I've actually seen you grab a moth off of the wall and hold it in your hand. Or mouth, yes. And kiss it. Yes. Lovingly. Touch it, love it. <laughs> yeah, I pet I, my I, monkey. I think it's fair to say I like moths more than butterflies. Ooh. What about the death head moth from... Uh, I was just thinking about that. I was going to say particularly yeah, the death head Yeah, especially that one? Well, well not know, especially. I, I won't go that far. But just particularly. particularly? Okay. I guess, that, I guess that's fair. But how about you? I mean, I uh, know that you feel completely differently I, about it. No, actually, I'm not scared of moths either. Oh. They're kind of gross and like dusty a little bit, like when you kill them, but that's the worst. Okay, but yeah. the dust, that terrifies no. you. The, the thought of getting that on your... No? No. Well, how about the sound a moth makes when it's flitting around a light? That. No. Oh. It can be a little annoying, but I I'm, I despise far worse the sound of a fly buzzing around the room than a moth flitting around a light. It's pretty much, yeah, that's it. I don't, I don't have anything. Oh. Well, that's kind of anticlimactic. Um, <sighs> shoot, I guess well, they can't all just... be winners. Let's, let's go on to the next one. Okay. Well, thanks for listening today. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, the, this one was particularly exhausting, wasn't it? Yes. Not especially, but particularly. Ah! See what he did there? That's why this guy has five Parsec nominations. Yes. And no wins. Good night. <laughs> see you later, folks. That Gets My Goat is produced under a Creative Commons non-commercial 3.0 license. I think we actually have six. Didn't oh, should I rephrase? Sure, you can say it again. Okay, so we had two this year. Two this three year, three last, last year. year, and one the first year. Okay. That's why this guy has six Parsec nominations. Yeah, there you go. Good night. You're supposed to say, and no wins. Well, I can use that for me. Okay.